HSBC presents CNBC TV 18's Future Female Forward, the Women's Collective, powered by Parity, Season 2. And so, history was made. Indian startup Agnikul Cosmos successfully launched the world's first rocket equipped with a 3D printed engine. This is also the first semi cryogenic engine to be completely designed and manufactured in India. And the startup, incubated at IIT Madras, credits the success to these two engineers, Uma Maheshwari and Saranya Parisami. 30 year old Saranya has been working at the space tech startup for about six years now. A native of Port Blair in Andaman and Nicobar Islands, she graduated with a degree in civil engineering and then pursued her master's from IIT Madras. It's a journey that has spanned numerous fields. There for six years now. Um, I started off my career here with um, uh, studying system engineer. Then uh, slowly I went into the structures part of the vehicle. Then I started looking at the overall systems of the vehicle. And that is how the finally I've been... Uh, given the opportunity to be the vehicle director for the suborbital mission, which we have recently launched. Uh, I had to learn about the system, which is there or which is required for a, lock, a rocket to fly. Um, then um, uh, then I had some interest in the um, uh, structures design. So I uh, I actually I was uh, discussing with the co-founders if I can actually work in the structure system too. Then they were, uh, they were Then they gave me an opportunity to work in that. Then slowly from that, I started looking at the overall systems of the complete vehicle. Uh, and uh, in Agnikul, as is when you asked, uh, it is not a very specific like uh, women or men. Uh, equal opportunities are generally given uh, in Agnikul. That is how I have seen. I have not seen any bias here as such. Um, so that is, uh, that is how... Um, I have been in Agnikul also. There is, a, I have not seen any difference as such, or there is no any specific requirement saying that it should be a gender-based thing. So, if uh, as far as I know, if they see a potential, um, an opportunity is definitely provided to a particular individual. Saranya's interests are varied, and she says that at Agnikul Cosmos, she got the support and guidance to master various aspects of the project. There was never any constraint saying that. Uh, you should not be uh, like we should not be working or uh, um, uh, is there is, there was no any constraint as such for a particular um, field or um, job so it was like if uh, if i'm able to do it then they were like okay then do it so uh, that kind of a support i had in my family i think that is the reason we are even able to be here because uh, being a woman the support from family is very much required uh, also since i'm married so it becomes uh, a little more difficult because um, there is a person whom uh, we should be taking care of also. But uh, support from my in-laws and my husband also being very um, immense. So I think that is the reason we are able to, at least I am able to be in this position. Uma, Saranya's colleague on this project, is a propulsion engineer. Born and raised in Chennai, Uma graduated with a degree in aeronautical engineering from IIT Madras. Over her five-year association with Agnikul, Uma has climbed the ranks through hard work and determination. I opted to do aerospace or aeronautical engineering itself just because I wanted to be involved more on the uh, mechanical side, more on the uh, hardware side, like to get to work more on the hardware. I, I I was more interested on working on mechanical stuff. So that's one reason why I chose aeronautical. And then um, I joined Agnikul through campus placements. Uh, Agnikul came for campus placement and uh, that, that's how I joined Agnikul. Um, it's been five years now uh, uh, with Agnikul. And then here I started off uh, with uh, small, small testing. And then I am from the propulsion team at Agnikul here. Uh, so we, I started off with uh, small testing of the propulsion components and then uh, designing the test, the test rigs, the test stands for the component testing and then preparing for the proce preparing the procedures, clearing reviews for the testing. And then I got into testing the second stage uh, engine. The, uh, uh, the suborbital mission is a, a derivative of our uh, second stage of the orbital mission. 
So I I was more involved in testing the second stage engine, qualifying qualifying the second stage engine for flight, the engine and the components that are required for qualifying the stage for the flight. Uh, I've been the test director for many test engine testing here, and slowly that experience I think got me to be the project director for the sorted mission, only one sorted mission, the recent one. <music> It's not just Agnikul's gender-friendly policies that have helped. Both the ladies say that supportive families have been crucial in them converting their interest in space tech into a successful project that marries their passion and their drive to breach the final frontier. I was more interested in like after my uh, uh, my higher education after my 12th grade I wanted to choose something associated with mechanical stuff for the hardware. So and, and I got a chance also. I had an opportunity to take aeronautical from uh, Madras Institute of Technology. When I told, when I proposed this option to my parents also, uh, the only feedback is they were uh, they only told me that it is going to be challenging. If you are willing to take up this challenge, they were hundred percent ready to support. So also this uh, also I wanted to attempt something challenging. So that's how I uh, took up this degree. Uh, from my family, uh, from the beginning. From the, like say when I whenever I wanted to take aerospace also they have been very supportive aeronautic aeronautic also they were they were very supportive and after joining Agnikul also uh, given how the uh, work will be here and all uh, in general in this industry they were very supportive. And so these rocket scientists are confident that they can continue to push the envelope and power India's sprint in the global space race. For Agnikul Cosmos, these trailblazers in space tech are not a flash in the pan. 45% of the company's employees are women, as is around 30% of the startup's leadership team. The company says it's a ratio it hopes to build on, as it tries to onboard the best brains in the country. In Mumbai, Rajnathan Rajani. HSBC presents CNBC TV 18's Future Female Forward, the Women's Collective, powered by Parity, Season 2.